This is the True Color Variable ND filter from Nisi, and from all Variable ND filters that I've used so far, this is the best one for video creators, so let's find out why. If you haven't heard about ND filters before, here's a quick lesson. No, ND does not stand for no dub, napalm death or Napoleon Dynamite, but for neutral density filter. Essentially a neutral density filter makes your image darker, so you can use low shutter speeds together with low f-stops to get natural motion blur while having the background out of focus. If you're working with normal ND filters, the main problem is that you always have to change them, depending on how much you need to darken the image. Variable ND filters solve this by letting you rotate the front of the filter to make it brighter or darker. But that comes with a catch, a colorful catch. Variable ND filters work by using two polarizing filters against each other and with most filters that slightly changes the color of your image. For example, the Freewell Magnetic VND system, which I also use, makes my image look warmer than it would without a filter. Because of that, I always have to set the white balance manually with a gray card to compensate for the color shift, which takes time and it doesn't always work well. It can also be solved by using automatic white balance, but I don't like to do that because then the colors would not look consistent in all of my clips. So in short, variable ND filters that add color shifts to your image require a bit more work while you're filming and especially when I shoot one in gun style that takes some fun out of it. I've been looking for a variable ND filter that doesn't add these color shifts to my videos for a really long time and now finally Nisi has contacted me to tell me they made one. I was a little skeptical though when Nisi wanted to sponsor this video, so I asked them to send the filter over before I sign any agreement and I could check if their claims were true. Let's have a look. This is our reference shot to see how the image looks without a filter applied. I set the white balance manually to 5600 Kelvin to match the temperature of my light and I set the shutter speed to automatic while the ISO and aperture were fixed. As another reference, I used the Freewell Magnetic VND system in this shot where you can clearly see the warm color shift. By comparison, here is the Nisi True Color VND set to one stop of ND. As you can see, the colors look exactly the same as in the shot without a filter. I do notice a tiny bit of yellow in the midtones, but it's only a 1% shift or so, which only pro colorists would really notice, so that's forgivable. Now I've set the filter to 5 stops and I still can't notice a shift. The filter passed this test with flying colors and that's why I'm proud to say that Nisi is the sponsor of today's video. But variable ND filters can also cause another problem, which is an X pattern if rotated too much. Nisi solves this the same way that Freewell and other companies do by using hard stops. When I look at the test footage here, I can't see any X pattern, so it appears that with this filter you're safe from that issue too. I can see a little bit of igniting though, but I don't have a big problem with it, as it gives the middle of the frame more tension and it's not that noticeable on most shots anyway. You can also get rid of the vignetting completely by buying the 82mm version of this filter together with a step up ring for your smaller lens because then it only takes the middle part out of the image and you don't see the vignetting anymore. But overall I think it's a very good filter and it also comes at a reasonable price and has some extra features but before we talk about that let's have a look at some footage I got with it. The Nisi True Color VND filter also offers a few extra features which are pretty cool. Not quite as cool as Napoleon Dynamite, but hey, no one's perfect. My favorite feature is the rotating lever, which you can screw in or out if you need it or not. This lever makes rotating the filter easier, which is very useful for smooth exposure transitions. In this shot, for example, I'm walking out of my room, so I have to adjust the exposure, and as you can see, I can smoothly darken the image with a lever. Another feature is that it has big ripples at the back of the filter, what helps to prevent dropping it. I guess my fingers are a little bit too big for the ripples. It also comes with a filter cap, which actually sticks on without falling off, and the pouch is also included. The pouch is of good quality, but I don't think it's that necessary as it just covers the plastic case of the filter. I would love if they would include an option to send it with a multi-filter pouch. Now, considering this filter sounds so good, you might presume that it costs an arm and a leg, but I have good news for you, depending on the filter size, it actually starts already at $119 only. This is actually a very good price for a filter of this quality. 
And talking about downsides, I actually couldn't find many. If there's one thing that I would improve on these filters, it's that the stop scale is in the bottom right. So it should be on the top in my opinion, because then I could see while I'm filming at what stop I am. And aside from that, I wish there would also be a version of this filter with six to nine stops or maybe four to eight or five to eight or something like right in the middle because on my cameras, the Sony a7S III and a7IV, my base ISO in S-Log3 is at 640 and 800. And at these ISO levels, I would like to have a bit darker ND filter. And it's also not really a problem to raise the ISO on these filters. So I would rather constantly have a darker filter on there and expose via ISO instead of using this weaker version and therefore sometimes have to change ND filters. And I don't really like the silver color of this filter. I mean, it, it does not matter at all. It does not change your image or so, but I like the red color from Freewell a bit more or the gold color from Polar Pro. It also looks a bit better. Nothing important really, but style matters to a certain degree. So me and Daniel are working on the video here right now and there's one more point that came into our minds which is that until about a year ago I said that I don't use ND filters and they're actually not that important. Now the reason why I said that is that the only thing that ND filters really do is allowing you to get this nice natural looking motion blur in your shots. The thing is that motion blur does not tell a better story, it does not make your information better like the stuff that your audience actually cares about and when it comes to the look of your image it definitely makes it look a little bit nicer, but only to a degree where most people don't really notice it. Like what people notice more is how you use your lighting, how you color grade your videos and your lens choices and so on. Also a few years ago when I started out, it was still that most of the good variable ND filters were out of my budget and a few ones that were in my budget were bad, like adding an X pattern and so on. So that was also a reason why I did not use ND filters back then. And by publishing, I don't know, probably 150 videos or so where I did not use ND filters and only receiving four comments about that topic during this time, I also noticed that most people really don't care about it. And there were actually people asking in the comments if I use ND filters or not. So it also tells me that, hey, when you don't even see the difference, then it probably does not matter. So even today, I would still say the same thing. When you're starting out, invest in a good camera, good lenses and good light at first. And then it's most important to learn how to use all of that stuff properly and how to color grade your videos, because these are the things that you're audience will notice the most and then a few months later when you're already able to get good looking shots then you can invest into an ND filter or a variable ND filter like the Nisi one to give it a bit more pleasing touch by adding this natural or organic looking motion blur. Overall, I think it's the perfect variable ND filter for video creators. People like us want to have gear that makes shooting videos fun and easy while still being affordable. By solving the color shift issue, offering a good quality product and coming at a reasonable price, Nisi offers exactly that. I do also keep the Freewell Magnetic VND system in my bag in case I need to be a bit more flexible when it comes to stacking different kinds of filters for some of my shots. But from now on, the Nisi True Color VNDs will be always on my cameras. And on the topic of shots, if you want to know how I make my YouTube videos, check out this tutorial here in the corner where I show you my whole process of how I make videos like this one. And I hope to see you there.